Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be episode 4 of BB Cream Wars and today I'm going to be starting out with the Rimmel BB Cream and I'm also going to do uh, a kind of little tutorial on day to night makeup with um, the new Smashbox Wonderlust palette. So anyways, we should jump right in. So this is the Rimmel BB Cream. I have it in shade medium. It has an SPF of 25 in it and it's only like four or five dollars at the drugstore. It says that it has nine in one perfecting super makeup results. It's supposed to prime, moisturize, minimize pores, conceal, cover, smooth, mattify, brighten, and protect. And then it also makes the claim that it lasts all day. So we'll see about that one. Um, I got the shade medium because the light and the light to medium just seemed way too light. So hopefully this one works out best. Um, Bringing my bangs over to the side. And yeah, so I've used this one before and I really like it. Um, it's exactly what I would expect from a $5 BB cream. Um, the color is really good for what I would think of a medium. And um, so far as I, it's got no smells and um, yeah. So I can see already that it is um, kind of color correcting some of my red patches. I'm a little bit more pink in the cheek than normal because I just came outside from a walk with the dogs and it's pretty cool outside. Um, um, okay, so now that we've got it all spread out and spread in, I can see that it did color correct some of the redness that was on my forehead and that was on my cheeks. Um, but that's about it. There isn't a whole lot of coverage. I can still see the imperfections that are on my skin. And, um, yeah, like they're not completely covered up by any means, but they do have a nice, like, I don't want to say mask over them, but they do look much better. Like they're definitely toned down. The reds are not as red. And, uh, my skin tone is evened out overall, which is really what we're looking for out of a BB cream, isn't it? Um, and it's drying really really well like exactly at the rate I would want it to like I can still push it around my skin but it's basically dry and this is pretty much what it's gonna look like so again it's not perfect um but I think it looks pretty good so um we're just gonna go ahead and move on I'm gonna get some of this stuff off my hands so that we can move forward. okay so the palette we're gonna be using today is the Smashbox Wonder Vision palette not Wonder Lust it hit me a second ago that that is like a Taylor Swift perfume or something So this is what it looks like it's got six colors and they're really really beautiful kind of cream like purpley colors for the fall and winter and I think that they're really really gorgeous it also came well it didn't come with this but they also put out a lip palette for the winter and it's also the Wonder Vision and it's got the five, these five, the five colors, colors in it. Are Radiant, Pout, Tease, Luster, and Ruby and they're really really gorgeous. I can swatch them later if you guys want me to. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, which is the one that has like the matte nude finish to it. I'm just gonna spread that around. And then I'm gonna take, I'm not even sure which colors yet. I think maybe Pink Shell, which is this color right here, and maybe Taupe, which is this color right here, and maybe just a smidge of plum, which is obviously this color down here. I think we'll play around with that a little bit. So right now I'm going to take my flat shader brush, just looks like that, and I'm gonna stick it in pink shell, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, pink shell. Sorry, the pink shell and the ballet pink look really similar. And I'm just going to stick my flat shader brush in there and go from my lash line all the way up to my brow bone. And I'm, again, this is going to be the day look out of the two. And then later I'm going to come back and do a, like, day to night transition. So right now I'm just trying to look put together while I go run some errands. 
but then later tonight I have a birthday party to go to and I just want to look a little bit more put together for that and a little bit more sultry. So far I can notice that these um, eyeshadows are really, really creamy. Like they're kind of really just gliding onto my eye, which I really like. All right. And then I think I'm going to take that um, quarter inch kind of fluffy, slightly angled brush that's the paint brush, and I'm going to stick that in taupe, which is this one. And that one I'm going to run again over my eyelid and then a little bit up into my crease. Just kind of tapping my brush into the product. And I am using a sweeping motion here, um, mostly because this is the first time I've worked with these shadows and I don't really know what they're going to do. And also, um, this is kind of an all over lid color, so I don't really want it strictly deposited in one area. Sorry about my mouth being open, I just noticed that. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab this contour brush, contour brush from e.l.f., and that looks like this. I'm going to take the plum, and I'm going to do a little bit of my outer corner, and my lash line, and my lower lash line. I mean, really just a little bit on the outer corner. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. And then I'm just going to take a touch of that and bring it down into my lower lash line. And I think that'll be it for the eyeshadow. Go ahead and zoom you guys back out. And then I'm just going to take any black eyeliner. I'm going to use the All May Intense Eye Color one in Black Pearl. It's the one that I have that's kind of a dupe for a black swan. And I'm going to use this to line my eyes. Like this pencil starting to dry out. Well, I have to throw it away. Alright, and then I'm going to top all of this with my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. I don't love proof. this mascara, but I'm just trying to use it up, honestly. be back in just a minute and then of course eye. I am going to finish off the whole look with my Rimmel Stay Matte in 018 Creamy Beige. This is the only product that I usually put over my BB cream to help it stay on my face and that's more um, for selfish reasons because I get super oily and I don't like that showing through you know five seconds after I put my makeup on so I put on the stay matte just to give my face a fighting chance at staying a little bit matte for a little bit longer um, with the BB cream so um, 
That is the look for day, and I'll be back in a couple of hours after I run my errands to do the transition into night. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this portion, and I will see you guys later. All right, guys, I am back for my update on the BB cream. I wore the Rimmel BB cream in shade medium for today, and I think it held up wonderfully. There's a tidbit of breakdown on the tip of my nose where my BB creams normally break down because I do have oily skin, but other than that, it's held up wonderfully. My um, forehead is still covered even though I have my bangs down and my cheeks are still covered. Um, it didn't completely cover up all of my blemishes, but the blemishes that I do have are no more visible than they were when I first put on the cream product. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, Rimmel is one of my favorite brands, especially from the drugstore. They're kind of my Urban Decay budget brand. That's how I equate the two in my mind. Um, but like I promised you earlier, I am going to turn my daytime look that involved the Smashbox Wonder Vision palette from day into night. So I'm going to achieve this using Slate and Plum, which are these two darker colors down here. And I'm basically going to take the same brush I had um, before, which is the contour brush. I'm going to dip it back into the plum and just kind of re-emphasize the crease and redefine it and just make it deeper and more sultry and um, do a little more of it out on the um, outer corner. That's the word I'm thinking of. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh, I need to cover up my under eye circles. Good thing it's nighttime makeup now. So now I'm going to take the plum and just kind of put a lot more emphasis on my crease. You can see the difference already. I'm going to make sure to get my outer corner. I'm going to do this on both sides. Going back in with that plum and redefining with a much stronger um, amount. I don't know. <laughs> Just darkening this crease area. Defining it a little bit more. Making sure that we have a nice smoke on the outside. And then I'm going to take the uh, quarter inch angled brush from Michaels and I'm going to dip that um, back into the taupe. And just kind of brush over my eyelid to give it a little more um, product. So it's looking a little, a little sad. Alright, I'm also going to take my flat shader brush and I'm going to take it into the, um, what is that called again? Shell, pink shell. This one right here, not the ballet one, but this one right here. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. And we're just going to make sure that our brow bone has a little bit of highlight on it. And then we're also going to take it into the inner corner. All right, and then just for a little bit of added puzzles, we're gonna take the slate and we're gonna smudge that into our upper lash line and into our lower lash line just a little bit. Remember that we have the purple there from earlier, so this will kind of just bring out the smokiness. All right, and that is pretty much how I'm going to take my look from day to night. I might add just a smidge more of plum. It just seems to. All right, and because we don't want any harsh lines, I'm going to go ahead and take a blending brush. I'm going to use this Sony Kashuk one from some kit. And I'm just going to blend out my plum and my um, 
pink shell, soft shell, pink shell, to make sure that there's not too harsh of a line. You could probably use one of the other colors if you wanted to use this pretty um, purple sparkly color. You could take a little bit of that on an angled brush, dip it in and just very lightly kind of blend the two out. This is going in between the purple, the plum, and the shell pink, pink shell. Which is just offering a more subtle um, gradation between the two colors. And make sure to go back in with that blending brush and blend. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like this. Um, I do recommend the Brimble BB Cream. I think it's an excellent product for the price. And this is my first time using this Wonder Vision palette from Smashbox, but I am loving it. So I recommend, I recommend this as well. Um, just so you know, if you do end up wanting to look into the Wonder Vision little palette, it comes in a box like this. And it costs $32, and it also includes um, an eyeliner and a full exposure mascara. So, excellent deal, I would say, because, I mean, the six shadows alone are probably worth over $30. Well, I know they're worth over $30, so then you get an eyeliner and a mascara as well. Um, so that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until I see you again, peace, love, and smiles.